The new moon portal is open and today's new moon signifies a new era in all aspects of our lives, especially the ones that have been challenging until now. So take a moment and set up a vision for your future. Use this present energy for intentional acts about who you are becoming. Be really intentional right now, who you are becoming. Take a moment and write some things down, like who you want to become on that personal level, soul level, what life you want to live, what skills you want to master, and what emotions you want to feel most of the time. Because all these emotions that we are experiencing are the products of our mental attitude. You may notice as soon as you start thinking more negatively about yourself, you start to feel a sense of guilt and then that's where you start comparing yourself with others like, oh, that person is so much better than myself. But if you pause that moment and you ask yourself, okay, what am I thinking right now? You will notice that you're thinking some critical thoughts about yourself and critical thoughts are not bad thoughts. They, they can actually help you to improve certain parts of yourself, certain areas of yourself. But you need to observe them. You need to observe them from such a state of awareness that you stop judging yourself. That's where we awaken a sense of compassion and compassion is a virtue that we are working on. And virtues are those good habits that we de develop through consistent repetition. So every time you start to feel heavy emotions of sadness, of fear, of shame, of guilt maybe, or even resentment, pause yourself and notice where's your mind. Because the greatest mastery is when we learn to change our thoughts and how can one change his or her thoughts? Well, you need to catch your, you need to learn to catch your thoughts and change them for its opposites. Usually it's the best practice when we notice, oh, I, I'm a bad person because this and that happened and we pause ourselves and we say, I'm a good person because I've tried. And then you start looking for what you've learned in that situation and you reflect on it and you write down what happened, what you've learned, how you've grown and what will you do next time when something similar happens. That, that's where you start mastering your mind and you start learning how to change your thoughts. That is a great mastery and today's new moon is reminding you to to set up some clear intentions around those practices so we can start working more on that. Remember that you become what you're practicing to be. So everything you're doing is coming from habitual programs. And you may think, yeah, that's who I am. You may be complaining about the things and you may say, yeah, that's who I am. And you may not be so good in communicating and you may say, yeah, that's who I am. But it's more like a habit. It's not like who you truly are, because who you truly are is that version of yourself that you experience when you're completely at peace, like after a good meditation or after a good workout. Have you noticed that when you finish a good workout, you're a completely different person? version of yourself than when you're all lazy and nothing good is happening and you know there are two different versions of yourself and you become the one you're practicing to be most of the time and Gemini is reminding you of this duality we all experience that duality there's actually more aspects of ourselves and you know like that old story goes that we all have two wolves within us when the grandpa is sharing that story with a little kid and he says that uh, we always have two wolves within us and then the little kid asked that grandpa like okay but which wolf wins eventually and he says the one that you feed the most so when it comes to du duality and different aspects of ourselves, it truly comes to awareness. Okay, what version of myself am I feeding with my energy? What do I do when I feel all lazy and, and low in energy? What do I do when I'm all anxious and stressed out? Do I have practical tools to handle those different situations? Because if you don't have them, 
I want to encourage you to find them. And we're talking here a lot about different practical tools. You can find them in many of my videos. How to cope with anxiety, how to cope with lower energy of sadness. And in the future, we will talk about this. So if you haven't already, you can subscribe to this channel. You can hit the like button if all of that already resonates with you. You need to recognize that the power is always within you, but you need to have the right tools. That's what Marcus Aurelius called practical intelligence. And practical intelligence is all about practical wisdom, right? So when you notice what requires an upgrade, you are already upgrade you've already upgraded yourself because you've become aware of what you've been unconscious before and we can only we can only change what we are aware of right we can only heal what we are aware of so congratulations i want to give you a few affirmations that will help you to work with this energy and the first one is i embrace my duality as Gemini. It doesn't matter if you've been born in Gemini sign or if you just sense Gemini's energy with this new moon. Embrace the duality because we all feel it. Sometimes we are happier, sometimes we are sadder, uh, more sad. Sometimes we are more creative, but sometimes we are less creative. Those are all, you know, we are experiencing polarities often and polarity can only exist because of duality. We are living in a world of duality and polarity. So duality is until we embrace it and find oneness, you know, the middle point. Like Buddha said, you always need to find the middle point. And you can only find the middle point once you embrace the duality, once you embrace that everything in life goes in ups and downs. But like yin and yang is teaching us what's above is so beloved. But also what's within is so without. So we need to learn that all comes from inner oneness. Everything emerges from inner oneness. And then Gemini is this great teacher of embracing the inner oneness. So we can understand that whatever is manifesting outside of us comes from our inner lack of understanding how to work with ourselves, how to raise our own energy, and how to manipulate the thoughts so we can think more ri richer thoughts, right? So we can develop better concepts, mental ones, that can actually work in our favor. And it all comes to awareness. So embrace the duality, because only through embracing the duality you will be able to go deeper until you experience oneness with all. And more practically speaking, it means that you notice from where this certain emotion is coming from. What has been stored within me? Okay, I feel sad. Yes, sadness is an expression of a certain belief, the same as joy is. But it doesn't mean that joy is good and sadness is bad, right? Those are just two different aspects of myself. And they all emerge from myself. So who is myself, right? Who am I? And you tap deeper into yourself, like, who am I? Who am I? And you try to feel yourself. And you will notice, okay, I have certain thoughts around myself. What are those thoughts? Are those thoughts real? Am I really a bad person? Am I really a weak person? Am I really not so good with this? Because I can learn. The greatest thing about myself is that I'm adaptable, right? I'm, a, I'm able to change. I'm able to, to make progress wherever I want. It's the greatest gift I hold within. So if that is true for yourself, it means that you can shift this energy and raise it up by raising up your thoughts around or about yourself. The second affirmation I want to give you for this wonderful new moon is connected with communication skills. I communicate with clarity and confidence, expressing my thoughts and ideas effectively. 
Again, it comes to Gemini. You know, if you look at the Gemini sign, you will notice two faces, right? And we can look at it as our inner self and outer self. You can look at it from the sense of knowing and understanding and being able to express our own, our knowing and understanding. So it means that you may have a deep understanding, but you're not able to communicate it. You're not able to express it. Nothing wrong here. It just means that your duality is still real and you need to find a bridge between one and another. That's what will unify it. And we're living in times where we are searching for the tools that can unify duality so we can we can bring all the separation back into oneness that's what is happening within all of us that's why there's a lot of confusion right now present because people are becoming aware of all different fragment aspects of themselves and suddenly we start to think well I'm actually not who I always thought that I am. I can actually change. I can become someone else. Like I can manifest new reality. I'm capable of so much more. And suddenly there, there comes a sense of confusion. Why nobody told me that? Or why I haven't figured out that before? But we need to ground the thoughts a little bit and recognize that all that truly matters is to be aware of what we know and be able to express what we know, right? So we can put it into words and eventually into actions and eventually into habits. When we learn something new, we need to put it into action and we need to develop some new behaving patterns out of it so we can see what is truly helpful for us, what is truly beneficial for us and eventually for people around us. So I communicate with clarity and confidence, expressing my thoughts and ideas effectively. The third affirmation is I adapt to change effortlessly, finding joy, new experiences and opportunities. This one is really, really strong and powerful. Gemini is an adaptable sign, can adapt to all kinds of changes. And we all know that change is the only constant of life, right? So another great skill you can learn is an ability to adapt to whatever is happening. Because nothing is happening to destroy you, but to teach you. And faster you can find lessons, faster you will grow and faster you will overgrow the current challenges, which means faster you will master what was before a problem for you and that is a truly incredible skill so i adapt to changes effortlessly finding joy new experiences and opportunities which means that you stop complaining over changes and you start looking for what kind of new experiences those changes may bring you what kind of new opportunities they may be awakening right at this point of your life. Just be conscious about this. The fourth affirmation is I'm curious and open-minded, constantly seeking knowledge and expanding my horizons. This one is, again, completely connected to Gemini's personality. Because Gemini's energy is hungry for knowledge, hungry for new lessons, new experiences, new understanding, the expansion of mind. So you need to be open-minded. Life is teaching you right now to be open-minded. Stop judging so much what that person said, what happened there, but be open-minded, like try to accept it. Try to accept it because you will see a completely different version of that person when you accept that person as he or she is. You will see a completely different opportunity when you will accept the situation as it is. You may complain, oh, my whatever is falling. Oh, I'm not, you know, people are are pushing me away. But from other perspective, you may notice, well, I just don't belong into that circle. Those are not my real friends, right? 
Your people are the ones that appreciate your worth, that value you for who you are, not for who you are pretending to be. And that is a great lesson already. The fifth affirmation for today's New Moon Portal is I'm adaptable and flexible, able to navigate through any situation with ease. This one is, this one is the one that we should just put it everywhere around us. Because we may all forget about how flexible and adaptable we are. We are such a great miracle. Like your body is such an incredible miracle. You can find it out. Like If you've been in a situation where you had no access to food or to water, you've noticed how adaptable your body actually is to an environment. Or you've been exposed to a really, really strong heat or really strong cold and you've noticed how adaptable your body actually is. That's why um, exposure to cold water is really popular now, because people are, are teaching themselves to be more adaptable, to be more flexible when it comes to unpleasant experiences. So we can notice that actually I can adapt to anything and I can navigate myself through any situation with ease only if I decide to. So remember that. And the sixth affirmation is I embrace my versatility and use it to bring innovation and creativity to everything I do. This one is again so, so important because you may think sometimes that you're not talented, that you can't find a solution to your present challenges. But the thing is, you are more incredible than you will ever find out. Maybe one day you will and you will say, what have I done? <laughs> right because you are so incredible and once you embrace your versatility and use it to bring innovation and creativity to everything you do you will find such an incredible growth in your life because it's easy to copy somebody else but that's when we say no to ourselves. That's where we say no to our own authenticity. The only way to truly become authentic is to become innovative, to become creative about the things we are doing. So open up a little bit and try to look at everything from more creative perspective. Like, what can I add up here? And what I've learned about creativity as an artist is that when I don't feel creative is when I need to free myself and I need to do something else. I need to go outside. I need to explore a little bit. Sometimes I like to go into a city and I just observe people walking around and it inspires me. Sometimes I like to go close to the river and I just observe the movement of nature and I see the butterflies and I, I, that sound, that white noise of the river inspires me. It clears my mind and suddenly I think I see things more clearly and it awakens creativity within me. So we need to play with everything. And the last affirmation I want to give you for today is I attract positive and stimulating conversations that inspire growth and connection. If you're lacking some social life or if you, if you feel like you're not surrounded with the right people, Stop saying to yourself that it's a struggle, that there is no people that would understand you. Because on the world of <laughs> so many of us, there's always at least one person that is craving a connection with you or with your kind of people. And all you need to do is to shift that mental attitude and say to yourself, I attract positive and stimulating conversations that inspire growth and connection. And who knows, you, you will maybe go into a grocery store and you will meet a random stranger with whom you will fall into a conversation that will inspire a growth within you. And you will experience a deep sense of connection just because you've changed your mental attitude. That's why Gemini, that's what Gemini is reminding you. So as this new moon portal is open, it signifies, like I said, a new era in all aspects of your life. So open up and remember that all blockages are now being released. 
you are leaving them behind and you are opening up for a completely new life. My friend, stay beautiful. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. I hope you've enjoyed in today's painting. And if you would like to support my art, you can find prints of my art, some of original paintings, some of guided meditations and my weekly passion planner in our Etsy shop. I draw my passion. The link is in the description of this video. Thank you so much for your support. You are truly appreciated. Till next time, one love.